Hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Bit of music here for you like this. Right, we're just uh, by Cambridge. Right. The matchroom show at the weekend, I'm not going to go through every single fight because uh, I'm just going to go through the ones that I wanted to see. I'm glad Savannah Marshall won. Please keep right uh, 800 yards. I know Savannah very London. well, very well, and I, I like her a lot. I mean, she's a fantastic specimen of a fighter. She's got freakish power. She's six foot with long arms, do a lot of damage. Uh, that's all I'm going to say on that matter. I wish her well. She won. Like I predicted, no, she won. Right. Uh, turn that off. Uh, Charlie Edwards against that Mexican guy. What on earth for that? That's power for you, though, what Eddie Hearn's got, hasn't he? That's power. The WBC did what they did on the night and the British Boxing Board of Control they're going to pass the blame back and forward just like you Carter on the Board of Control and it's all a bit messy isn't it but what I want to know is why ain't that kid's team sticking up for himself he was a world champion for two minutes what about uh, Boatsy against that other guy Nobody said a dicky bird about that stoppage, did they? But yeah, they did about the Charlie Edwards one. So, I don't know what to make of that. I think it's in bad taste. Uh, it is what it is, isn't it? It's, that's the bad side of boxing. I'm a bit disappointed, but Eddie's gonna, Eddie Hearn's done what he's done, hasn't he? It's his fighter, isn't it? So he's gonna go out to bat for his fighter. Just like they did Paul McCloskey. When he fought Amir Khan, uh, I've got 800 mile left in my tank. When I filled it up and set off it, only had 600. It's got 800 now. Is that because I've been driving at 60 all the way? I don't know how that could change. Anyway, getting back to the matchroom show, Savannah won. Charlie Edwards, no contest, very, very lucky. It was a bit like the Jamie McDonald farce in Monaco, where, well, the year before he got beat, but he got the decision, and then the year after, we know what happened, don't we? Uh, they had well, it a cut, an egg clash or something, and Eddie got it as a no contest, or a, I don't know what it was, a technical draw or something, or whatever, look. If you've got power, you can do what you want. And Eddie Earn is doing what he wants. Somebody's just overtook me on inside there. You know who I am. You can do what you want, so Right, Charlie Edwards, very lucky, but we all know Josh Whale softened him up in sparring, don't we? Big featherweight like Josh knocking him about. Yeah, he's sharp and that, but he couldn't live with intensity of Josh Whale. Josh was flogging him, I've heard. So, I'm only joking. Uh, shout out to Chris Smedley. How are we doing, Chris? So, are you listening? Good friend of mine, Chris. Come see me for a cup of Chris. I'll have a chat, get you on channel. You have to let me know what you and Liam are doing. I saw a photograph of Liam on Twitter. He's got an head bigger than mine at the moment. He's got an afro by the looks of it. What's going on there? Dennis would love that afro. One thing Dennis has always dreamt about having. It's a good head of hair. Chris Smedley's got a good head of hair. I am, look. I've got one of them dome heads that I can get away with it. Chris Smedley can, can't he? 
But he's look, he looks like a gorilla, doesn't he? Where is it? Silverback gorilla. He's got an airline down here, Chris, but I like him as a pal and I like his lads, Luke and Nicky. They're a bit tasty like, but I like them. Good family. Good boxing family at Smedley's. Shout out to Davies Gym at Little Dale, Sheffield. Nicky and Luke Smedley's Gym is doing all right. Anybody's interested in going and taking up boxing from age of 10 upwards, go to Davies Gym in Sheffield, Little Dale. Very good gym. Luke and Nicky, ex professionals, they know what they're on with. I think the dad might be helping them out with that gym now, that's what it needs. An experienced head, so good luck to him. If you're living at Maxborough area, go to Mick Wales Gym, train there. If you're living in the Doncaster area, Denneby, we train at Steffi Bull's Gym. That's not his real name though, his real name's Andrew Bullcroft, or Little Andy we call him. Levels, hashtag Levels Andy. How are you doing? You alright Andrew? I know you're watching. Keep on trucking. Shout out to Gibbo, my mate, from Edlow Motors. Come and see you Wednesday. Track red end fitted on this because I think I can hear some of it. It's either that or I'm, I'm hearing things. I can just hear some little noise. Got a bit of OCD going on, I? But, uh, Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put my bins on, I'm going to put my Oakley driving glasses on, and I'm going to, I'm going to go through this, what I'm, what I'm going to go on about now, you're going to like. Right, is that the, that's a, is that the match room car? Oh right, this is the matchroom card, isn't it? This is the matchroom video. Right, matchroom video, so... I don't know whether to put this on end of this. No, what we'll do, we'll put this on next video. So, peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport.